Hello everyone, Kyle Penny here again to talk to you about something a little different. This last year, Idaho was stricken with one of the worst outbreaks of blue tongue virus that this state has ever seen. The virus takes the lives of many livestock animals, but can be pre prevented if the right measurements and safety measures are put in place and followed accordingly. I will first inform everyone about blue tongue's disease and then lay out plans for an effective biosecurity for any animal production. Blue tongue virus is a non-contagious insect-borne viral disease. It attacks ruminants and livestock animals and usually survives in aquatic environments or environments that are very close to a large body of water. The disease is spread through small insects called colicoids that are very hard to see and can bite without leaving any marks. However, once the virus enters the animal, the animal system, the symptoms that occur are inflamed mouth and tongue, hemorrhaging, and lameness of the back legs and possibly deaf if not caught early. To stop this disease from becoming a problem in future animal productions, one must create a biosecurity plan to keep the disease out. One must first split the production into four zones, restricted areas, transition points, controlled access, and living areas. Restricted areas or restricted access areas are where the animal lives and should be accessed only by operation management. Transition points should contain clean clothes and areas of disinfection. Controlled access areas should only be um, opened by employees and very few guests. And the living area should be detained from the other three. By splitting the operation into four zones, it limits the amount of disease and in the area and stops it from spreading throughout your, your system. If farms inform themselves of the dangers of blue tongue's disease and create an effective plan, then we can limit the spread of this disease and have happy, healthy animals. Thank you for all your time and have a great day.